Our next role is niche of the day. The presenter of this section is Tim. Tim T, not Tim B. <laughs> well, Tim Wilson, no, Tim V. Uh, Tim Wilson is our presenter for this role. Tim is a very active member. He always surprised me. Like he surprised, surprised me with his great evaluations. And lately, he surprised me with his great sense of humor. Let's put our hands to, together. Let's see what Tim Wilson will teach us today. The secret to you giving a good speech is changing from giving a speech performance to giving a speech conversation. Now, most people don't like being the spotlight all the time. Yeah, there are a few of you who do like being the spotlight all the time. You know who you are. And yeah, sometimes you get a little bit annoying. But for the rest of us, most people don't like being the spotlight all the time. So the whole trick is to think about a swinging spotlight. You focus on the audience, then the speaker. Audience, speaker, audience, speaker. The spotlight swings back and forth, finishing up on the audience. If you haven't already, download the worksheet that I put into chat and follow along. When you give a speech, there are four questions that go through your audience's mind. How well you answer these four questions determines how well the audience connects into your speech, how well the audience gets involved in your speech and starts thinking about your speech. Your goal as a speaker is to motivate the audience to action. The audience starts out where they are, hears their speech, is transformed, comes out doing, thinking, and feeling a whole new way. The first question your audience has is, who's the speech for? Who's the speech for? This is about attention. Attention. You want to get the attention of your audience. That means your speech should be relevant for your audience. Your audience should think, yeah, that's a pretty important issue. Better pay attention. Now, there may be a few things in your speech you're thinking, I don't know if this really fits. So when in doubt, leave it out. When in doubt, leave it out. If you have something you think that doesn't quite fit in your speech, leave it out because you want to keep the audience's attention. And to make sure that swing spotlight focus on the audience at the beginning of your speech, use the you. Use the word you. The word you is magical because it focuses all your attention entirely on your audience. That way it forms that spotlight focused on your audience at the beginning of your speech. Your audience thinks, hey, speech is for me because everything is focused on me right now. Once the audience knows the speech is for them, the next question they have is, what's the problem? What's the problem? This is about content, content. And a mistake most speakers make is that they grow the conflict quickly. In other words, basically their speech is kind of going in here. And then it's sort of like the speech kind of gets into a lift and just goes, boom, all of a sudden there's a huge conflict. Everything's horrible and awful and bad. It was calm, now it's really bad. That's, that's kind of the, the escalator approach, the elevator approach. Instead, or the lift approach for the international crowd, Instead, grow the conflict gradually. Think about an escalator. An escalator. You start out here, gradually the conflict builds up and up and up. So something's a problem, a little bit bigger a problem, a little bit bigger a problem. As your speech goes on, the problem should get bigger. The goal is to get your audience, who your speech is relevant for, thinking, well, this is a problem. This is a big problem. And then when the problem reaches its height at the top of the escalator, the audience should be thinking, all right, how do you solve the problem? How do you solve the problem? It's about technique, technique. And it's important to solve the problem. The mistake many speakers make is they don't solve the problem, which means the audience has not heard about this problem before. They hear about your speech. They get worried about your problem. They tell you, oh, wow, it's a big problem. They think, how do you solve the problem? And if your answer is, I don't know, I guess you're in a lot of trouble, aren't you? pretty much you've made their lives worse. People were perfectly comfortable. Now they've got a new problem they didn't need before. You become a demotivational speaker. Don't be a demotivational speaker. Nobody wants that. Nobody says, hey, want somebody to come in here, freak out my audience and give them no solution. Make sure you give a solution to the problem. And then list the benefits you got from using, from using that solution. The benefits say, hey, how do you know the problem? I solve the problem because I got all these benefits out of it. And most speakers stop there. But there's one more question in the audience's mind. Why should I do that? Why should I do that? This is about selling, selling. And you wanna get your audience sold in your speech. 
Get your audience sold in your speech. That stands for seen, obtain, life, and do. Seen, obtain, life, and do. Some people just want to be noticed, want to be paid attention to, want to be seen. Others want to obtain time or obtain money. Someone just had a better life. And others want to do more. Those are the four benefits your audience is interested in. When you engage in those four benefits, your audience will start thinking, oh, wow, this sounds pretty good. And then they'll think, wow, this sounds really good. Then they think, maybe I should do that. It worked for you. Maybe it'll work for me. And then you gradually start transforming your audience, getting them to do, think, and feel a whole new sort of a way. There are four questions that go through your audience's mind. Who, what, how, why? How well you answer those questions determines how well the audience connects in with your speech. So use the speech creation worksheet. When you do, you'll discover that your audience pays attention to you. You'll find out that you quickly go through speeches and get them done. You'll find that you're more comfortable on stage and you can do more speeches. So use the speech creation worksheet to create your next good speech. Wow, thank you, team. Wow, I'm sold. <laughs> Those are really, really valuable information for us, especially we're in a contest season. If you are writing a speech to compete, those are wonderful knowledges that you wanted to apply into your new speech. Thank you so much, Tim Wilson.